what brought you here today? My boss is here, so I'd come to see him. Who's your boss? Pres President Trump. He's your boss? <laughs> pretty much. He's all of our bosses. In, in what way? That he tells you what to do? He don't tell me what to do. Or he just he runs the country in a good way that nobody else can. So I consider him my boss because basically he run it, they run this country like a business. You probably know where this is going. Does it bother you that he, he ran a lot of his businesses into bankruptcy, though? No, it don't bother me at all. No, it don't bother me at all. I don't care if he... But if he uh, runs the country like a business, he could, he could like, bankrupt it. I don't care it. if he was smoking crack with Hunter. I don't care. I'm going to vote for him. I don't care what what happens i'm voting for him even if he was smoking crack with hunter biden oh yes i would when the good liars hit the scene ears perk up okay so what does it say there trump no more bull but what does it actually actually say there well you just have to use a blue sharpie okay uh but it, it means bull yes but it says soul soul Indeed, it does. This says Trump 2020 make liberals cry yeah. again, but Trump's the one who's not in office, so the liberals were happy about the 2020 election. So if there is a group about that's crying yeah. about it, it would be they conservatives. When he was first elected, and we were trying to in 2020 we were trying to have, make that happen again, make them cry again. But then he lost. He lost, right? And now they're doing everything they can possible to stop him from even running in 24. But if you had to say who's been crying about the 2020 election, who would it be? Bit of an awkward silence there at the end. This is usually the case when MAGA are confronted with logic. I think the Bible should be taught in schools. Yes. Yeah. Most definitely. Because yeah. Yeah. Uh, children have gotten away from that. You know, because they... They have, and it needs to be put back in all the schools, Catholic schools and public schools. So you want the Bible back in school. Do you think there are books that should be banned from schools? Um, yeah, of course. I, I, there, there is a book that has a, a story of two daughters getting their father drunk and having sex with them. Would you want that in a school? No, absolutely uh, not. Of course no. not. Of course not. No. That's, outrageous. That's the devil's work. <laughs> we don't want the devil's work in school. All right, well, there you have it. Talk to some people who want the Bible taught in school, but also want the Bible banned in school, so. This is also a theme. Never forget when the pro-life Bible-thumping candidate Herschel Walker ran for Senate in the state of Georgia, and the good liars somehow, some way, got up on stage at a rally of his and advocated for the use of condoms. Walker fathered many children, some he does not have a great relationship with, and even, as conservatives do, paid for abortions to be had. These are things Walker fought against on the campaign trail. He would lose, of course. Consider yourself pro-life. 100%. You know, God said, you know, suffer the little children, for that such is the kingdom of God. So, I mean, every crime against a child is, is, is a big thing in God's eyes. And in the Bible, God kills 42 children by a bear attack because they made fun of someone for being bald. Yeah, and what's your point? It just doesn't sound very pro-life to me. Well, you know what? The thing of it is, is when, when you really... He killed children, you know, 42 of them with, by a bear attack. Well, you, you could even go this, when the children of Israel taken over the land of Canaan, he said, you know, wipe them all out. Okay. Women, children, everything. So we found some agreement that God is not very pro-life. No, God is pro-life. Oh. Oh. It just goes right over their head, doesn't it? These dudes are legit, and you could see them in person. Check out their shows if you're in Brooklyn, New York, where, get this, a performance is set for January 6th. Then they are in Philadelphia in February. A great way to support their work is going through their Patreon, watching them on Twitch, and hitting up their YouTube channel. Great work all around. Bravo.